for that. That happens, yeah. I think I would have punched a bouncer. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. You wouldn't have had a great night if you did this. No, no, no. <laughs> definitely. That man would have taken me, right? But yeah. at least someone would have had to bleed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yo, <laughs> that's bad. That's, well, I mean, to be honest with you, like, if you want to go partying in London, mm. Brixton, Peckham, anywhere in East, really, Hoxton, Short. This mm. ends. Yeah, it ends. You, have, you can't go central. You okay. cannot go central at all. But you're going to ask me how my week went? I mean, shit, how did your week go? Oh, thank you. Since thank you, you want to tell everyone so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for asking me how my week Normally, my, my co-host doesn't ask me how my week went. He uh, just says how his week went, goes, and he just ignores me. But my week was great, man. I was, um, what did I do? Yes. We was at the Millions pop-up that was in London. Mm. It's fucking amazing. You look go watch the video right now. It's dropped on Friday. So go watch that right now. Millions is such an amazing fucking dude. Crazy rapper, man. Yes, bro. And think about how good of a rapper he is. Is even a good like he's even a better person, like in real life. Because really? normally, because I've I've had I've had experience with meeting loads of different rappers, and it's like normally you have a person, they have the persona that they portray, and then you meet them in real life, and they're just like horrible people. Most of the time, not for everyone. But with him, he was such a, such a cool guy, down to earth. Like he didn't, he wasn't, he wasn't like so diverish like most people normally are. He's funny, right? You go up to a guy like that, you just be thinking the accent is very funny. It's very strong, but it's very soft at the same time. Yeah. It almost doesn't fit for the shit he raps about, but it does. But you know what? When he's talking, you can't really hear his accent that much. For real. Yeah. Just in I know. His raps. I just, which I just is weird. Pick up <laughs> crazy in his music. Yeah, it Not does. Not in like a bad way though. In a good way, it works real well for the persona. Exactly. And also, as well, it just kind of sets him apart a little bit. But either way, like, his his pop-up was amazing. The clothes, I mean, wasn't really for me. But I loved his rollout so much. Because, you know, he just dropped a mixtape. Yeah, he went number eight. Items. First project, straight top ten. Yep. If I'm him, number I'm... Number eight or number ten? Number eight. Number, number ten. ten. My number bad. Ten. I, I misspoke. It's number ten. But the fact that he made number ten... On a debut project, yeah, give him his props. Yeah, one thousand percent. If I'm him, I'm going. I'm going. Oh man, it's album time now. I'm. I don't know. It's. I'm. I'm stuck between like give him a year, like take a year off to record the album, yeah. or drop it next year. Do you know what I think two. about millions? I think. I think he was hindered a little bit by COVID. COVID, yeah. Because when he came out and he sung blue, um, everyone was inside. It was Wipe yeah, in it. Yeah. Everyone I remember seeing. Inside. I remember seeing the adverts for Wipe everywhere in April last year. And I think if it wasn't for COVID, his trajectory would have gone like even crazier than it has because those songs did very very well on GRM Daily. Like, I think the other day I was I was obviously because you know you got to prepare as a producer mm. blah blah blah. And I was going through the video and one of those videos got up to like forty million views, and I didn't even know that it got that much views. So I was like, wow, that's shocking. But then I don't really. I think. I think there's a there's an issue there because most people found out about him while he was all locked up. Mm. So it's been a little bit, and this is not no disrespect to him and his and his team or whatever, because this is the first time that they've been that they're going outside to try to meet fans mm. and talk to fans and let fans. But I feel like it's not translated as much as it should have. You think? Yeah, because I was there, and it wasn't. It's not like it was dead. There was people there. Don't get me wrong. And I don't want you to misconstrue what I'm saying. But I was expecting way more people. Do you know what I mean? Um, it was yesterday, was it? Mm. Yes, it was. But for the sake of the podcast, it was Friday because this is Tuesday. Ah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> should I explain that to you? Before? Yeah. But yeah, it was it was it was Friday. But current. What Friday? Let's go with the date. Yeah. It was the twenty. What was the date yesterday? Twenty fourth. Twenty fourth. It was the twenty fourth. Um, I wasn't at the pop up, so I can't really speak for that. Actually, I, no, it wasn't the twenty fourth. What am I talking about? It was last week. It was last week Sunday. Last week Sunday. Yeah. So what? The nineteenth. Yeah, nineteenth. It was nineteenth. Yeah. Okay, I wasn't there at the pop up, so I can't speak on that. Yeah. I will say though, I don't really see it as, for me, I don't see the situation as oh, if we weren't in pandemic. Yeah. It would have been better. I see it more as for pandemic. That's really great, 
Like, because mi- a lot of people got to find out about him and he blew yeah. up pre- pretty much overnight. Overnight. Yeah. The guys just started releasing music in 2019. I don't really feel like he's missed out on anything. I say, because this is his own path, maybe he's not done the live thing so much, right? That's what I'm getting at. I, I, I think people are genuinely listening. Like, he got to top 10 on the official album arts. Never niggas, done a show. Niggas is, exactly. Niggas is streaming him. That's mm. that's an amazing accomplishment. And he's not like... On your first ever tape. It's not like he had, like, some huge, like, TikTok hits. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but he didn't have that type of exposure, I'd say. He doesn't make it for a type of... He doesn't make danceable, necessarily radio smash music, but people are tapped in with him a lot. Like... The, the way he raps on some of these singles, right? This should not translate to anyone but like real hardcore road rap fans. But the fact that it does translate so well, just give give him his props. I see nothing oh, wrong absolutely. with how absolutely. things have turned out for him. I think he's gonna go even further. He's gonna have the the credibility, mm-hmm. right? And he's gonna have the smashes as well. I think everything is perfect for him. It's exactly where it should well, be. Well, the point I'm trying to make though mm. is that. No matter how much streams you have online, you need to turn them into ticket sales. True. You have to. Like, I don't care who you are, you have to turn it into ticket sales. And I'm not saying that he can't. That's not what I'm trying to say here. Mm. But this is the first time that he stepped outside. And I guess maybe from from a from a journalist perspective, I just was expecting a lot more people because it's in London. Mm. But then again, after I after we did the whole show and everything, and I was thinking about, I was like, okay. Maybe I'm being a little bit unfair on him because he, he's he's from Birmingham. Do you get what I'm saying? So up town. north, exactly up north. I'm sure niggas would have gone crazy and come out. Do you get what I'm saying? But you need people to come out in London. Well, that's people the thing. are spending in London more than they spend up north. True, but he's got his tour coming up. He's just started putting stuff on sale. It's very early days. All this, uh, like the expectations that oh, he's he's now meant to be selling out. You know, O2. Oh, no, 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 no. Like, this, was, yeah. this was just a pop up. So he's not, I know, I know he's not the... even selling tickets. And that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's not there yet, though. We, we haven't quite gotten there. So I think for the sake of just letting things be and seeing how I'm it turns okay. out, yeah, let's wait and see. If it oh, doesn't yeah, turn absolutely. out well, if no, it doesn't I, turn out well, but then the thing we... is, I do think he is going to grow. Oh, definitely. I definitely. He is going to grow. He's definitely going to grow. And part of the, part of the, part of the reason why I think his growth is. It might be astronomical, is because he has concepts with his songs. Mm. Like he he's not he's not a lazy musician. He's really not. I love the 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 aesthetic for this provisional license thing, right? Bro. First off, it's already weird enough that he went with a car thing. You don't tend to see that exactly. That and was, the promotion, the marketing, oh the my music God. videos, right? That music crazy. video, crazy, <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Round of applause for the guy. Yeah. Round of applause. No, no. I'm definitely, definitely giving him, giving him his flowers. But I would just like to follow his tour and see how he does, and and it'll be interesting to see his growth because he's the first artist that I have genuinely. Ten liked. out of ten. Just pretend there's like a ten <laughs> written there. Ten out of ten. Do you know what? Do you know what's funny about that? Did you just put it right there. What? Did you just put it right there? Wait. Okay. So what's this? No, 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 no. no. This is green as well. Uh-huh. Can you see it? Oh, so no one's going to see that shit? No, they will I'm going to green screen it. So they'll put a 10 out of 10 there. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Say <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, shout out to Millions. And shout out to, to the whole team, your agent, your manager. Good on you everyone. guys. Everyone, like, the, the event was amazing. The concept of the album with the provisional license and all of the fucking road signs. Like, you, I've never seen any artist forget drill artists any artist whether hip-hop r&b drill whatever from the uk i've never seen anyone do that and it's it was such a clever fucking way of marketing himself as well so shout out to you guys and um yeah i'm looking forward to like following you on tour and just seeing how you know you develop and you grow fucking amazing that's an idea for an episode like do like a on one of his tour stops if he comes here just that's go there that's funny because yeah. i already have the idea <laughs> there you go and and that's what i went to film well that's anyways we'll talk about this <laughs> off camera that's off camera stuff right talking about millions and like okay this isn't about millions actually Let me not start like that. 